All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Now we got our next act coming up, and he is from Bremerton. He is a comedy producer from Bremerton, and he is actually here helping us film tonight this DVD special. And he also has a page. It's called Comedy in Kitsap. I want you guys all to give a big warm welcome for Joseph Rogers. Cut that Don't shit. Me. Cut that shit. I'm too white for that shit. <laughs> hey, give it up for your previous comic, everybody. One more time. <laughs> J.R. Witten, yeah. That was nice. We're going to have to pray for him tonight because his wife thinks he's at Winco right now getting groceries. So. Make sure he survives tonight. <laughs> yeah. Like, what wife? I got a sock now, remember? Like... All right, it's good to be here, Longview. Man, every time I come to Longview, you guys are fucking awesome. Let's give it up for everybody in Longview one time again. Yes, you guys are awesome. Yeah. Best crowd, best crowd, best crowd. Uh, we've lost a lot of good people, you know, in 2016. We lost a lot of good people. 2017, we lost some more good people. 2018, we're still losing good people. But now they're offing themselves, right? Like, that's weird. Like, is our society that fucked? Is our mental health care that fucked that people are starting to off themselves now? Like Anthony Bourdain? Like, that sucked. That dude was cool. Yeah. And then we, we, we keep losing all these good people, right? Is it just me? Or does it, every time we lose somebody good, does it make you hate Magic Johnson that much more? Like seriously, think about it. If I'm gonna, I wanna know the number of people that have died from AIDS since he got HIV. Like I wanna know that number, right? Because if I'm on my deathbed and he's still shooting layups, I'm gonna be pissed. Yeah. I want stem cells, I'll eat that shit. I want some. I'm not sure if you guys heard, but school shootings is now the number two school related deaths in our country. Yeah, don't worry though, student loans is still number one. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad you got that. I said that joke at Bremerton and everybody was like, what the fuck? Yeah. Shit, Longview's smarter than Bremerton. I love that shit. <laughs> fuck yeah. <laughs> so uh, on a lighter note though, people, I just celebrated my five year anniversary. Fuck yeah. Yeah of being unemployed. Naturally. Naturally, right? You guys are way more supportive than my parents. This is great. Yeah. Well, this... Oh, yeah, shit. I've been unemployed so long, I just wear shirts to make it look like I have a job now, motherfucker. You don't know that? Shit. My dad told me apply a dress for the job you want. I didn't know you had to apply, too. I was like, what the fuck? What the fuck is that shit? I got a UPS shirt. I got a FedEx shirt. Actually, it's my stocking shirt, too, so, you know. <laughs> I can get super close with that shit. All right, that's too creepy for Longview, okay. <laughs> I'm kidding, I don't stock anymore, people. And the reason why I don't stock anymore is because Facebook ruined that shit for me, man. Shit, when I was in high school, I went to a friend and I said, hey, friend, uh, I, I like this girl and I want to know what to do. And she said, a woman wants a man who's not afraid of commitment. So I did what I thought took the most commitment, I started stalking this bitch, right? Because I'll tell you what, man, that shit takes commitment. Like in the nail salon for two hours, in the mall for six, like what the fuck? And you finally follow them around long enough to where they're watching a movie and you're just like, damn, I like it the way they eat like no one's watching. Like, this is cool. But Facebook ruined it, man, because now Facebook's like, Joseph Rogers is near you, like, yeah. They even give you, like, the distance. <laughs> like, like, you might as well be like, Joseph Rogers is looking in your window. Like, what the fuck? 
So Facebook like totally ruined my stocking game, right? So now I just straight up Facebook stock. Here's the fucked up thing about Facebook stock. And you come to a nice bar like this, you have a good time, you have some drinks, you meet a young gal, whatever. You don't exchange your phone number, so you Facebook stalk her. And then, okay, I'm gonna tell you right now, as a Facebook stalker, there is nothing more unattractive than a private profile. <laughs> as soon as I come across that shit, I'm like, done. I'll tell you, those public profiles are hot as fuck, ladies. So you go scroll through their public profile and you see all their selfies and you keep scrolling, you keep scrolling and you're just watching them get younger, right? <laughs> Next thing you know, you're five years into it. And you're starting to see your graduation photos and shit and you're still masturbating like, what the fuck? <laughs> Do I stop now? I don't know. I don't know. I can tell you just hate my jokes. No? Oh, you're the photographer. You're, okay, keeping it professional. I like that. Good, good. Because I'm Facebook stalking the fuck out of you later. Just so you know. Just so you know, I see three or four of you in here tonight. So. But I've been broke so long, man. When you're, when you're broke as long as me, like, it changes your life, you know? Like, I went from a good paying job where I'd show up with parties, with the food, the girls, the booze, whatever. But when you are unemployed for this long, it changes, you get excited about shit that you don't normally get excited about, you know what I'm saying? Like you go to your friend's house and you get way too excited about them having paper towels. <laughs> it's like, damn, you got paper towels, brother? What the fuck? Or you get excited about like their, their change tray has like four dollars and quarters in it and you're like, damn, you're balling, bro. Because you know, back home, my change jar don't have more than 37 cents in that motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? Shit. I've been broke so long that when I hear change drop, I know how much change just got dropped. Like, that's 37 cents. And then my son will be like, no, that was 42. And I'm like, no, that was a Canadian nickel. Fuck that shit. <laughs> and the reason why I know the difference is because I've been using Coinstar for so long, obviously. Right, you use Coinstar, you know what sound change makes, man, I'll tell you what. But then you go to your friend's party, right, and you go into their bathroom and they have like 16 toilet papers at once? Like, who has that many at once? I grew up broke, so my mom always told me, if they have that many, you can take a couple of them, they'll be okay. And if you take me in your room to smoke me out, I might match you still, even though I'm broke, I might match you. But if I see a change jug, fuck you, I'm dipping with that shit. Fuck your Vegas trip. I go get some rain here and get fucked up in Longview. <laughs> That's where I vacation with your Vegas trip. So uh, for a lot of the parents in the audience, you know that today was the last day of school? Fuck yeah, right? Yeah, last day of school, man. Here's the thing, all right? Here, here's the trippy thing, is that I have two kids. One's in kindergarten and one's in fifth grade. So today was the last day of kindergarten for one and the last day for fifth grade for one. Last day of kindergarten, all went well. They have this cute little poster that they have my kid fill out. What's your favorite color? What's your favorite show? What's your favorite, um, what do you want to be when you grow up? Shit like that, right? And my son, where would he want to be when you grow up? Said, I want to do what my daddy does every single day. And they're like, we got that. He goes, no, I want to play video games every day. <laughs> I'm like, fuck. So I grab my kid, right? And I'm like, get over here, you little fart knocker. It's not easy being ranked in the top 100 of Call of Duty and Halo at the same time, all right? I'm putting in work. Kids don't know what it's like to have to survive on the Oregon Trail nowadays. You know what I'm talking about? Kids don't have to go around and fucking find Carmen San Diego. You know what I'm saying? Say fucking princess from Bowser and shit. They don't get it. Nowadays, they just fucking respawn and fucking Go out and shoot again. They don't get it. I'm putting in work, motherfuckers. So that's kindergarten, right? But now I got a fifth grader, okay? Last day of fifth grade. 
I did not know this, but apparently at the school, that's also sex ed day. That's what I'm saying. They never told us about that shit. I think fifth grade is a little too soon to be having the sex ed talk, right? Yeah, back when I was in fifth grade, it was field day on the last day and you had fun, you know what I'm talking about? So I picked up my son and I go, how was school today? He goes, a bit overwhelming. Why was that? I mean, it's field day, right? He's like, yeah, there was field day, but there was also sex ed day. I was like, what? I think that's a little too soon. He goes, yeah, dad, look at this book they gave me. He's like, penis, vagina, prostitute gland? I was like, prostitute gland? Give me that book. I was like, oh shit, prostate gland, okay. <laughs> Probably the same thing, but yeah. <laughs> A whole nother story. And I was shocked, I didn't know what to say, so I changed the subject with my son and I was like, what sounds good for dinner? He goes, I don't know, I think I lost my appetite. I was like, oh shit, uh, was it the penis or the vagina? <laughs> He's like, what? I was like, never mind, you got time to figure that out, don't worry. You're only in fifth grade. But when it comes to kids, people, man, I'm learning that it's best to be honest. Right? Yeah. Honesty is the best policy. Yeah. But I tell you, man, once they start asking questions about sex, it is not easy being honest, right? For example, my oldest son came up to me the other day and he goes, Dad? I go, yeah? He goes, I heard you and Mom having sex the other night. I said, oh, shit. And I said, straight up, I'm sorry. He goes, no, it's okay. I understand that's why I'm here. <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's, you're smart, I like that. And he goes, but this sound I kept hearing over and over again, I don't know what it is. I was like, well, go ahead and ask me, honestly, it's the best policy. He goes, what's that clapping sound? Like, oh, shit. I was like, first of all, it could be anything, but... I'm gonna be honest, right? So I look him dead in the eye and I was like, son, sometimes when the sex is that good, you just gotta give a round of applause. <laughs> and I'm like, fuck, man, I know that he's gonna grow up and one day he's gonna have sex and it's gonna be awesome. And he's gonna sit back and be like, yeah. he's gonna be like, what the fuck are you doing right now? Oh, fuck. <laughs> What's next? How do I know when I found the right one? Like, I don't know. Would you find one that's willing to do ass to mouth with you, I guess? I don't know. Oh, wait, unless it's on the first date, then fucking run. Cause that shit's crazy. <laughs> All right, enough of that. Enough of that. Uh, see, the thing about... Okay, I've been broke so long that I've been starting to think about what my like sex tape might be worth on Pornhub. You know what I'm talking about? Like that's how, that's how bad it is, right? And I keep thinking to myself, well, if I make a montage and I upload it, it could be pretty good. But for some reason, have you guys noticed that there's not much tweaker porn out there? Like I, w I went to Pornhub and I fucking put in tweaker porn and I got zero results. I was like, what the fuck is that shit about? So I started thinking about it, I was like, man, I could start fucking putting my videos online and calling it tweaker porn. Yeah, because even though I don't look like a tweaker, there's not a market for it, so when someone types it in, they're gonna get me. <laughs> It'd be great, right? <laughs> fucking tweaker porn, we need more of that shit. <laughs> also, tweaker fights, too, that'd be cool. Like have Longview tweakers versus Bremerton tweakers. <laughs> Yeah. Port Orchard Tweakers versus Belfair Tweakers. Kelso Tweakers versus uh, fucking... What's the other one? Uh, Castle Rock. That's what I was thinking, too. I saw that on the way down here. I was like, Castle Rock? I was like, shit. You know they got Tweakers for sure. Working on their trucks out there and shit. So here's the thing, right? So, uh, true story, I actually applied at Google the other day. Yeah. 
Yeah, I applied at Google, and turns out they're way ahead of the curve. I sent them my resume and application. They're like, we don't want that. I was like, okay, what do you want? They go, we want your IP address. We're gonna go off the last two years of Google searches to determine whether or not we're gonna hire you. Yeah, for real. I was like, oh shit. Uh, Don't even bother? I mean, and they're like, no, we already got your IP address. I was like, oh, fuck. So they call me two weeks later, and they're like, sorry, Joe, you don't fit the profile we're looking for. I go, no shit. <laughs> and they go, before, before we let you go, though, there's one thing we want to know. I go, yeah? They go, yeah, there was one thing that you searched for on Google over and over again and got zero results. I was like, what's that? And they go, what's tweaker porn? <laughs> I was like, fuck you, Google. I bet you Bing knows I'm gonna go fucking search there. <laughs> fuck yeah, fuck Google. So I used to be married. Uh, marriage is not good for me. I don't, I don't do good with marriage. Um, for example, when I was married, my wife caught me watching porn one night. That's not cool, right? That's not cool. And she goes, hey, you're not allowed to watch porn, you're with me. I was like, yeah, but you don't do any things that they do. He goes, we're married. Stop watching porn or leave. So I did what any gentleman would do. I fucking lied to that bitch. You know what I'm talking about? I was like, okay, I'll stop watching porn. Turns out, ladies, if you tell a man to stop watching porn, they're just going to start masturbating to the thought of being single. <laughs> what else is there to masturbate to, right? Your mama. My mama or your mama? Which one? Uh, what was that? <laughs> Eat a ball? Is that what you said? Oh, okay. Yeah, I said fucking Longview Twiggers. Wait, you're probably not even from Longview. You're probably an infestation tweaker, aren't you? You fucking came across, the, came across one of those fucking bridges. You're like, I'm fucking in Longview now. Oh my God, you are so drunk right now, aren't you? No one can understand you. Hey, hey, I appreciate the interruption. Uh, next time I'm at your job, I'm gonna come and take the dick out of your mouth and interrupt you. Yeah. Because I'm not sure if you noticed, but I'm not sure if you noticed, but we're trying to do our job. So I wouldn't interrupt your job, just so you know. I'm, I'm courteous. Courteous. I don't want to take away from your money. <laughs> So anyway, like I was saying, <laughs> I used to be married. That shit's not legit, right? But here's the thing. I did this thing. I created self-porn. Have you guys heard of self-porn? No, no. This is what self-porn is. It's when you record yourself masturbating and then you masturbate to that. Yeah, yeah. That's what's up, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And fucking my wife, she, she didn't know about it, right? It's on the down low. But here's the thing, is that I was masturbating to my self porn video and she walked in and caught me doing that. So of course she goes, hey, I told you no more porn. I go, oh, don't worry, babe, this isn't porn. This is just me masturbating. She looks down in the video and she goes, what? If that's you masturbating, why are you wearing a blonde wig and lipstick? <laughs> like, shit, babe, I gotta spice it up somehow, right? But, all right, everybody, I'm Joseph Rogers. You guys are fucking great. Thank you very much. All right, all right. Great job, Joseph. That was fantastic.